Hey, what's going on everybody? I just wanted to make a quick little video here today um, to show how to download and install uh, aircraft either from the org or one that you have purchased and liveries to go along with that aircraft. So we're going to hop over here. I already brought this up on the org. This is the Edge 540 that was just released. And I also found a livery that was just released for it last night also. So we're just going to grab these two, uh, and then we're going to show you how to install it. So we're just going to hit download this file, and download this file. And if you don't see this download this file, it's because you have to make a username and password, sign up for the org. Uh, and if you're looking for something specific, you can always come up here to the search and type in uh, something like that. But once you're on the org, if you go to downloads here, you go to all downloads. Uh, this is where you can generally find all of your libraries and scenery stuff and airplanes and stuff like that. So uh, you can see right here, we're at downloads, X-Plane 11 aircraft, general aviation, and then we got the Edge 540 Classic here. So, and then here you can see... Uh, Downloads, aircraft skin, liveries, and then the livery for the extra. So both of those are done downloading. Let's hop over to the next screen. And we're going to bring these two up here. So we're going to have our uh, main X-Plane folder here and our downloads. And I just like to set these up like this because it's a lot easier when you're trying to uh, you know, work between folders to have them next to each other. And if you don't know how to snap these windows like this, all you have to do is just take your folder, drag it over to the side of the screen, wait for it to kind of pop a box up and let go, and it'll snap into place. And same thing with the one on the right. So you can have your folders kind of snap together like this. So let's um, extract both of these, and we will get going here. All right, so both of these are extracted. So let's head over to our X-Plane folder on this side, and we're going to go to our aircraft folder. Now you have a couple of options here on the left-hand side, uh, or on your main aircraft folder. We'll just call it the left-hand side, because that's where we're working right now. Uh, so we're in uh, X-Plane 11 aircraft. You'll see the stuff from Laminar Research here. So this is, you know, all your uh, default aircraft are going to be in these two folders here. Now you can either right click hit new folder and you can name this, you know, downloaded aircraft or whatever you want to do. You know, if you're going to be downloading a lot of stuff, you could just call this, uh, you know, GA aircraft or something like that. Whatever you, you know, want to name this folder that you could put your planes in, you can do that. The other thing you could do, um, the other thing you can do too is just put the aircraft directly in this folder. Now, that's something that I do because in a, another video where we're going to talk about JoinFS, um, JoinFS likes to see the aircraft in this main folder here to be able to do the model matching for it. So, let's just get this. So now when you download aircraft, the main problem that a lot of people are going to have is the aircraft not showing up or they download a delivery um, for either a default or an aircraft and it doesn't show up in the sim. The main reason for that is because of double folder structures. So what I mean by that is you can see here we have the Edge 540. When we click on that, there's another folder in here named the same thing and inside that folder is the aircraft. So you need the top folder before all the files. So if we took this folder here that has nothing in it but the aircraft, you're not going to see that plane in X-Plane because it's looking for all of these files here in this folder, which is the one that we unzipped. So what you're going to do is make sure when you download something, don't just take this and drag it. Just just double click on it and make sure what you downloaded is in this file here. So we know the aircraft's in here. We're going to take this, we're going to drag it over into aircraft. 
So now when we go in here, you could see the folder structure is the plane and then all the stuff for the plane inside. So now we're going to go to the livery. And you could see here, this is the one we downloaded on zipped. And now we have a double folder structure once again. Now, if you use something like uh, 9-zip or, you know, something that's not default Windows, you, you may not have this double folder structure. It might just, you know, you'll click on this and all your information will be in here. But this does happen even with uh, other programs. So let's head over to our Edge, which is in the X-Plane Aircraft folder now. And we're going to go over to our liveries folder. So these are all the default uh, paints or liveries that the extra comes with. This is the one we downloaded here. So once again, we do have a double folder structure. So inside of here is going to be the objects. So if you click on one of these, um, you'll see right in here that is the objects. It's not a double folder structure, so you're not going to have this. And then inside of here it says it, and you click on that, and then it's in here, which is what we have over here. So always just make sure when you download something, you're in that folder, right? You're, you're dragging the folder right before the files that you need. So this one here, and we're just going to put that in there. So now you can see, you know, these are all the same. So once you click on the livery, you have your objects and your icons. And these are all the same, set up the same. And this works with uh, default aircraft too. So if you go to Laminar Research, and we're going to go to the Cessna, you know, this is uh, all the default Cessna things. And if you go to liveries, this is where you would put your livery if you downloaded one for the default 172. So you will run into a thing where let's say you, you downloaded an aircraft and you clicked on here and there's no folder called liveries but you downloaded a livery for the aircraft you could just make a folder called liveries put it in there and then put that livery into that folder and it will work like that too so that's pretty much a basic uh, quick video rundown on how to get that stuff installed and like I said at the end of the day, the main thing you want to remember is just not to have a double uh, folder structure for the stuff that you're adding to X-Plane. And that's for aircraft, liveries, um, libraries, all that kind of stuff. Just always make sure you don't have uh, double uh, folder structures like that. Alright guys, I hope this uh, helps some people out there, and we will see you soon. Take care.